Camera rolling. All right, promo scene one, shot one A, take one. Don't don't push on. And action. Um, Mr. Mr. Anline. Um. Good. Yeah. What? We're uh. Wow. We're we're filming the monthly video today. Yeah. Supposed to be. Uh, oh, yeah, the, um, video, month, month, yeah, when, when? Um, now. Ah, uh, um, now, yeah, okay, and, uh, yeah, with, um, it's, it's the video about, uh, Promoting what we did this month in film. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Want to just go through a quick run? Sure. Cool. This should be a pretty quick I'd, run. I'd go ahead and record it just yeah, in I'm case gonna... it works. It's really good. Good? Yeah, we're on. Cool. Action. Oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Didn't hear that. I said, I said, you. Right, right, right. Of course. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello, I'm Jason Hanline, instructor at Central Studios here at Forsyth Central High School. Here at Central Studios at Forsyth Central High School, we pride ourselves in creating a wide array of productions that are student-led and student-created. Students will enter into our program with the Film Academy as freshmen and then pro progress on through sophomore, junior, and senior years. Um, I'm sorry, sir? See, sir, sir. What? Um, and, we don't. We don't just have an academy. We we have a uh, like a regular course as well. We do. Mm-hmm. Here at Central Studios, we pride ourselves in creating a wide variety of content. We create PSAs for various programs around our school, commercials for the various enterprises our school is happy to call home short films, and even podcasts. Our student interns here at Central Studios are in charge of putting together our podcasts every month, and they do a fine job. Why, well, hey, here's one of our interns now. Hey, Nikki. How's that podcast coming there, kiddo? <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, do you think we should to you? Oh, Ron, Ron. here at oh. <clears throat> here at Central Studios, we are going to attempt to create a new monthly program for your enjoyment, where we showcase all of the things that we are producing and showcase all the wonderful talent we have coming out of this program with our students. So, sit back and enjoy this first episode of our yet to be named <coughs> monthly showcase show and happy holidays from Central Studios. Go dogs. And cut. I think that's a wrap, y'all. Hello and welcome to the Forsyth Central Thrifting Extravaganza. Here we have a variety of different clothing and apparel all free of charge and this is the only time of year Forsyth Central has this going on at the school.
annual thrift stop's been fantastic. I mean, it's something in our school that anybody in school can come in and get a jacket or a hoodie or something to keep them warm in the winter. And it's just one more thing we do as part of our community school efforts here to take care of each other at the Sea House. I got this um, jacket slash wear that's like, it's a nice blue color, but I think it's a good fit for me. Well, to be honest, I think it's a really good thing for the people who need it. I got a really big jacket. It's very nice. I came last year, I'm gonna come again next year. I got, sorry, I can't hear you on gaming, Moody. They're helping the school and like helping um, kids around here that are poor that need uh, winter coats and all that stuff to keep them warm. And so I got this really studious jacket right here. Guys, we also got this uh, brown jacket. Very cute, very cute. I got um, corduroy pants and my friend got me this um, white sweater. I think it's definitely helping out with people that can't afford a lot of expensive clothing or clothing in general. And it's getting really cold, so I think it's good. I got a denim jacket, very cute. It's given the community the opportunity to just share things and just, um, I don't know, just the joy of you know, gift giving and It's Jose Canales Romero from CFA News. We are re recording some of the most intense winter weather in the past, that we've had in the past, uh, you know, 10 years. It hasn't been this bad since, you know, last time it happened. Uh, the snow and hail and sleet isn't the only thing that's coming out tonight. It's also a bunch of gloves and balls and, uh, uh, more snow and balls and a bag apparently <laughs> there's a lot of things uh, out here and you know it's, it hasn't been this bad since the relations between the snow people and the towns people you know uh, you know declared war on each other so uh, you know back to the desk <laughs> Have you ever been hungry in class or forgot your pencil? Well, you're in luck. The Central Place store has a multitude of resources for students. They offer cheap snacks, drinks, and free options if you're in need. For only a dollar, they sell hot tea, hot chocolate, and coffee. And for only 50 cents more, you can get soda, vitamin water, Arizona tea, and Gatorade. They sell sweet snacks, protein bars, and candy for only $1.50. They also have free options. You can get fruit and granola bars. Another great resource they have is free hygiene and school supplies. Take advantage of this great store located on East Campus. Visit anytime during lunch hours. Um, Christmas time is here. Oh, what do I got in front of me? That's a pretty big box, huh? It's glowing too? Yo, I can't wait to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel so weird. Yo, what's happening? What's happening to me? Oh, oh I'm floating. Someone help. Christmas magic is real. What the heck is happening? Oh, oh I'm on top of the box. Oh, 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 oh no, I think I'm about to fly in. No, 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 help, somewhere. Nobody chooses to become ill.
to be diagnosed with a condition, to not be able to afford the help they need. In this country, we have the means to treat so many conditions. To alleviate the suffering. But many often have no way to get it. Maybe they lost a job. Maybe they had an unfortunate setback in life. Maybe they're too young. Maybe they're too old. Maybe they're your neighbor. Maybe they're you. Our goal is to provide a place to help, no matter who you are. Or how much you make. Of what you do. Of how much you have. Or of how little you have. Forsyth Community Clinic provides no-cost, non-emergent health care to uninsured, low-income residents of Forsyth County, Georgia, aged 18 to 65 years. With your help. We can ensure that no one in our community is left behind. Please join us on our mission. To help our neighbors. To help each other. To leave no one behind. For more information, call 678-812-6622 or visit us at ForsythCommunityClinic.org. Have you ever wanted to work on your homework at school in a quiet place? Have you ever wanted a place to escape from reality? Have you ever felt extremely stressed out and wanted a place to relax? There is a place in our school where you can do all those things, the Wellness Center. Well, let me introduce you to the Wellness Center. The Wellness Center helps you not only relax, but lets you get your work done in a quiet environment. It also has many other benefits like relaxation sessions, where you can relieve stress and do movement and mindfulness. The Wellness Center is located in the 1100 Hall and is open for both power hours, every Monday, Tuesday, Friday. So if you need to relax or get some work done, come on down to the Wellness Center. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, little Joe. What is your love on this holiday? I'd like a fire truck, please. A fire truck? Yes. Really? Yes. Do you not see where I work, Little Joe? You work in the North Pole. I clearly don't work in the North Pole. I'm a hobo. No, you're just here for the holidays. No, sir. They, they literally picked me up off the streets. <laughs> but anyways, Little Firehouse, whatever your name is, Joe, why do you even want a fire truck? They're a lot of fun to use. And Plus, are you even a kid? What kind of kid is named Joe? Hey, you're way too big to be Little Joe. I should have named you Big Joe or Gigantic Joe or Big Boss Joe. I could say the same about you. Oh, me? This is, this is just water weight. I can tell you that. None of this weight is real. This is all for just special effects and live television. Really? Anyways, Little Joe, what else do you want for Christmas? Uh, can I have two fire trucks? Little Joe, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know they said I can't hit kids, but if you ask me for another dumb request again, I might have to hit you. What can you make me then? I can't make you anything. I can give you this scraggly beard, because this is definitely not my real hair. Really? Yeah. What's your real hair? You don't even want to know what my real hair looks like. Anyways, Little Joe, is there anything else or any Christmas miracle you want? No, that should be it. Really? That's it? That's it. I can't tell if you're just a humble little boy who doesn't ask for a lot or if you just can't get a lot. Could be both. Goodness, little Joe. Just, just, just leave. Where's your mom, little Joe? Right over there. I might have a little talk with her. Anyways, little Joe, um, I guess I'm supposed to say this even though I don't want to, but have a wonderful Christmas. I hope uh, a miracle strikes for you and you can get a fire truck. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Don't call me Sam. 
Don't say thank you. Just, just leave.